Hello everyone. In this video, let's discuss about flyback diodes and why they are used along with the relays. We know that a magnetic field is generated around the coil when we pass current through the coil. And this magnetic field results in pulling the switch between COM to NO. So what happens when we stop the flow of current? At this point, even though there is no current through the coil, there is still magnetic field around the coil and this magnetic field starts collapsing. The collapsing magnetic field induces a back EMF which results in a spike in the voltage at this particular point. So if you look at this, when you turn off, usually there is a spike in the voltage at this particular point. So in order to suppress this spike, we are going to use this flyback diode. You can see that this diode is placed in reverse bias condition. So the N junction is connected to the 5 volts terminal and the P junction is connected to the other side. Now what happens if we don't use this diode? When we use bigger relays and provide higher voltage like 24 volts, then the resulting voltage spike is pretty high and there is a high chance that this voltage spike might damage the transistor or the MOSFET that you're going to use here for the switching of the relay. So in order to protect our circuit from this voltage spike, we're going to use this diode so that during the voltage spike, this diode will be forward biased and it's going to provide a closed loop for the current to flow here. Please note that during normal operation, this diode is reverse biased and it has no influence on the circuit. This flyback diode comes into picture only when we turn off the relay and there is a voltage spike. So is there a way that we can visualize this voltage spike? So how about we replace this diode with an LED and see if the LED turns on when we switch off the relay. You can see here, instead of the regular diode, I have placed an LED so that we can see if there are any voltage spikes when we turn off the relay. Let me turn off the lights so that the spike will be easily visible on the LED. Now, let me control the relay via the Android app. I'm going to toggle this button and see if the LED glows when I turn it off. Are you seeing the LED glowing when I turn off the relay? So this confirms that there is a voltage spike that's created when we turn off the relay. You can see that this spike is sufficient to turn on the LED for a short amount of time. And if we are providing a higher voltage, then the voltage spike will also be significantly higher. In order to suppress this voltage spike, we have to use a flyback diode in the relay. Also, please keep in mind that not only while using relays, also while using any inductive load like motors, you have to use a flyback diode along with it. I hope this video gave you an idea about the flyback diodes and why it's important to use it. Thank you for watching the video.